How's it going guys? Slippery Jim here. Welcome back to my Dishong Tower Challenge here in 7 Days to Die. And it is day 60 here. Beautiful morning in the tower, down here in the lobby. Did some mining overnight. Um, got a fair bit of uh, oil shale and iron, which is good. Always comes in handy. Uh, looks like we might have some repair work to do down here at some point. <laughs> But uh, what I'm going to do is work my way back up to the rooftop here and just clear the building as we go here. If we hear any sleeping zombies or we spawn any um, hanging out on these floors, we are going to take care of some business here with the old barbed wire club. But yeah, so far so good, guys. Day 60, pretty crazy. Let's just repair this right here. You guys, uh, if you've been following this series, know how important it is to have a, a nice solid block above the doorways. <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah, what was I just talking about? <laughs> Our first, uh, first radiated zombie of the day. Old Mo. Oh, there's a couple of Mo's. Okay, maybe I should back off a little bit here. They're gonna, they're gonna chase me down the stairs again, aren't they? Okay. Oh. But you got to hit in. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's try and play a bit more carefully today because I have been uh, playing a bit fast and loose lately, get myself into some trouble and uh, near death scenarios. So yeah, let's. Oh, he's just okay. He's trying to <laughs> he's trying to jump down in front of me there. The old uh, ninja zombie moves. All right, let's try and take this guy out before he breaks this. Uh, this block as well. Well, this guy has uh, a fair bit of health going. Hopefully, being set on fire kind of negates the uh, the health regen on these on these radiated zombies. Come on, are you gonna die? <laughs> Seriously. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to. There we go. <laughs> I was starting to think he was never going to die, to be honest. Uh, we've still got another Mo back here somewhere, though. Where are you, mate? There he is. Okay, that, that block's not going to last too long. <laughs> oh, no, swing and a miss. I have not got much stamina left here. Oh, there we go. Knockdown. Always helps. Didn't really have any stamina to capitalize on it, though, while he was on the deck there. Uh, let's just try and keep some distance here. What is that zombie doing? They seem to like going up and around the stairs. I don't know why. Yeah, there's some really weird... Oh, no, I'm bleeding now. There's some weird pathfinding that goes on over this side of the, uh, the foyer area. Wow. <laughs> I don't know whose accuracy is worse, the zombies or mine. Uh, yeah, probably mine. Let's just take care of you. Zombie yo. There you go. At least he's nice and easy to take care of. Okay, I guess I'd better repair some of these blocks here. Okay, there we go. I'll tell you what, my carpentry skills are going to be first class uh, by the time the apocalypse is over. Just stick a block there for now. I guess I'll come back and repair this properly later. But we're going to head back up the stairs, and I might actually check the vending machines as we go as well. See if we can't get some canned goods happening. Okay, let's just check the vending machine in here, see if there's any uh, bug in basement cans. What do we got here? Okay, I'll buy the cat food. Cat food's much cheaper than dog food for some reason, I don't know why, but... Yeah, as long as it comes in a can, that's the most important thing for me. And we want to make those jukes stretch as far as we can. I guess I should repair that massive hole in the wall there. <laughs> How the hell? I guess I guess they were trying to break through from um, from inside the floor, right? That might have been the same floor that those radiated zombies came from, actually. Now that I think of it, there was probably more zombies in there, right? That would make sense. Uh, yeah, we'll just repair this as well. I like to keep, um, even though 
Even though it's not like an essential area, um, I like to keep these blocks repaired just for structural integrity purposes. I'm always worried about parts of the building collapsing if um, load bearing blocks get knocked out and stuff. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell which are the important uh, parts of the building that are kind of holding up the floors above and stuff like that. Anyway. Okay, let's see if there's any more zombies down here. Hopefully we are zombie free down here in the lobby right now. Um, I wonder if I've got any concrete mix in here. So we can do some proper repairs. Um, doesn't really look like it, does it? The cobblestone sort of plugs the hole, but it's not actually that strong. So... Yeah, maybe we'll come back with some concrete mix and do some proper repairs later. Yeah, we'll see what happens. See how much time we have to kill. Um, now, I have two skill points available here, so I might actually go with uh, strength here because strength is a gateway skill to a lot of other really juicy options like, uh, what do we got here? Stay down. So this one, I think I only need level four, one more skill point. And uh, if we unlock this, power attacks do 160% more damage to stunned enemies. And there's a 90% chance for power attacks to knock foes back down. Four successive hits in a short time causes the last blow to do 100% extra damage. <laughs> Sounds pretty awesome. Uh, skull Crusher, level four as well. Blows to the head do 80% more damage, 10% chance to explode heads. So, yeah, the next couple of skill points are going to be pretty awesome, actually. Yeah, anyway, um, let's make the slow trip up the stairs again to the rooftop, and then I've got some items I want to craft. Okay, let's grab some more gas cans out of here, and uh, I should be able to craft a few more cans of oil um, with all the painstakingly cleaned out tin cans we've been collecting. So that should make uh, about 30, 30 oil cans um, that we can use to make molotovs. So uh, that is going to be pretty awesome. Um, while we're waiting for those to craft, let's just uh, scope out the area here. Scope out the neighborhood, see what's going on. Not a lot by the looks of it. It's been pretty quiet today actually. I mean, apart from getting attacked by those two uh, radiated mows. Um, was, that was a little bit intense, but you know, I'm so used to it <laughs> these days. That was uh, that was pretty much uh, a docile morning for me. Bit of a snooze fest. Um, okay, let's have a look here. So, just wait on that last one there. Seven seconds. Um, okay, I might need to put a little bit more fuel in there. Jump the gun a little bit there. Let's get that last can cooked up. And uh, that will give us 30 cans of oil, which is pretty awesome. And then we can convert those into Molotovs. So I do like to have around the 30 Molotovs for the Horde Knights. But I guess as we uh, get um, further along, um, the Hordes are going to get more and more intense, more and more zombies. So maybe we'll end up needing more than that. As time goes on. But I've certainly got enough gas cans here. Alright guys. Uh, yeah, came back down here to the lobby. Because, uh, yeah. Um, just clearing the building again. Basically this afternoon. And it sounds like we've got some angry zombies. Might have been a wandering horde going past here. So let's just uh, kick things off here with an arrow to the face. Uh, just wait till they all come through. There might be some more back there, but, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's take care of these guys. No real problematic zombies right now. Looks like they're all pretty much normies. No ferals even. Okay, we got a whole bunch coming through the door here. Darlene! Skater Punk! We got another yo, and we got old Marlene in her denim shorts. 
setting the fashion bar pretty high for her fellow zombies, I guess. Uh, yeah, anyway, I think that's probably most of them, if not all of them, in that little mini, mini hoard. Let's just make sure there's no more customers coming. Doesn't look like it. Cool. Alright guys, it is getting late in the day here on day 60 and uh, what I've uh, decided to do is a little bit of digging um, of the forest ground here um, because not only does this give me a little bit of XP, which is good, but it also gives me clay, which is pretty important for forging. Um, so yeah, it's just one of those annoying chores that I have to do every now and then. I mean, I do get a little bit of clay by mining down underneath the building, but um, this is really the best way to get clay, to be honest. Because actually, surprisingly, um, very few of the blocks down in the mine actually give you clay. Um, anyway, I think, have we got, uh, let's have a look here. I think we need some better tools. I was just thinking, it's about time we crafted some steel tools, right? Because I've been working with iron this whole time. What do we need to make steel? We need a point in hammer and forge. Okay. Hammer and forge. I don't quite have another skill point for that, but you know, we could probably cheat a little bit here and take advantage if we have the right skill magazine. Um, let's have a look here. Uh, what did I need again? Hammer and forge. What have we got? I thought, yeah, I do have one of these. So that'll give us um, an extra level in hammer and forge for 30 minutes. Which is perfect. <laughs> nice. We're just going to get like, we're just going to read this magazine and instantly have better better forging skills through the power of knowledge and reading. Um, cool. Let's see here. You can craft flawless items. Um, yeah, that's what we want, right? So if I put these, if I put these nerdy glasses on, I think that increases my crafting tier by one. So that should uh, get us up into the purple zone. Um, yeah. There you go, guys. you got to think these things through when you've got a limited number of skill points. I've already got these on. <laughs> I'm already wearing the nerdy glasses like the nerdy survivor I am here. Um, anyway, for some reason I thought I had the XP ones on. Uh, okay, so now if we, if we pop the magazine, we should be able to craft ourselves some purple quality steel tools. Let's just make sure we've got all the materials we need. Um, so I'll probably make myself basically all of the mining tools and stuff like that. Um, that's iron. Yeah, and we want a pickaxe. Maybe even a hoe. Why, why not treat myself, huh, to everything? Everything is going to be purple and everything is going to be steel. I definitely have enough materials for this. So let's uh, let's just make a little bit more forge steel, because I have a ton of iron in this thing. Um, it's pretty crazy, actually. I've just been feeding resources into that forge. It would be a it would be a major disaster if that forge got destroyed. Um, okay, let's use the magazine here. Instant genius! I now know all the things about steel production. Um, which I'm going to forget in half an hour, so I have to make the most of this. Uh, how many steel? How many? How much forged steel do I need here? Let's see. I think I need about 20 for each each of these. So how many we got here so far? 37, 47. Probably need to make about 30 more of those. I'm thinking, at least. So let's get that cranking, and um, let's see here. So first off, we'll start with a steel fire axe, which is going to be pretty awesome. Um, let's just 
grab a little bit more of this. Um, still fire axe. Let's have a look. Actually, we need the shovel as well. Um, and I also want to make a pick. So when we have enough, when we have enough of this forged up, man, I'm getting hot out here on the rooftop. Even though the sun's setting, it's like, it's really weird how this game works. Like, there's a sudden spike in temperatures when the sun comes up and when the sun sets in this game. It's kind of weird. You'd think it'd be, it would be at noon that there's a spike, like, in real life, but no. I don't know how that works exactly. Uh, alright, there we go. Let's, um, let's see what we can make here now. Um, so what have we got left? We've got the pick. I think pickaxe this thing is gonna be awesome for mining it's gonna be much quicker and hopefully last longer without needing repairs as much um, I'm gonna make a second shovel which I'll keep up top here and I'll take one of them down to the mine and keep one up up top here for digging digging the uh, forest ground converting it into clay so there's our axe which is pretty sweet um, I think that's just about everything I want to make right now, as far as tools go. Let's just grab this out of here. Um, just trying to think if there's anything else I should make while I'm at it, but I think we just put the spares in here, because, yeah, I think that'll probably get the job done for us. So we have a beautiful new purple fire axe. It's going to make chopping the trees much, much quicker, hopefully. Sweet. Um, iron shovel. Let's just get organized here. So, all right, that's looking good. Um, I want to take the old mods off these and transfer them across to the new tools. So the new tools being purple quality will have um. We'll have the maximum number of modifier slots available too. Not that I've got that many mods to put on tools at the moment, but we do have a couple, I think. Um, let's see. It's a shame I don't have a purple auger. That would be pretty awesome. Maybe we'll find one when we uh, start looting again. You never know. Theoretically, the quality should start improving. Um... Let's put the die on this. And what else did I have to put on this? I think that's all I had for the axe. So anyway, that should improve the um, speed a little bit. And we have the pickaxe here as well. The shovel. So I can put this um, shovel mod on there. Grave digger. Pretty cool. Um, and what do we have left? So, one of these... Yeah. This is going to be the good one. And then we just have to wait on the pick. These take a fair while to craft, actually. A couple of minutes per item. There we go, we got the steel pickaxe. I actually want to go and test out this uh, this steel shovel real quick while we're waiting on the uh, that last tool to get crafted up. Let's see how fast this thing is. It'd be pretty awesome if it was fast enough to break the blocks in one in one um, in one hit. That'd be that'd be the dream. Let's see how we go here. Oh, it's doing like what's that? A hundred and 44 damage per hit. Not quite enough to break it in one hit. If I could get some more mods on that, see see how much it does without the die. Um, 132. So the die makes a slight difference, but it's not huge. Interesting. Alright guys, well, uh, I guess I'm going to do this a little bit more, get a little bit more clay happening, and I'll catch up with you guys uh, day 61, I guess. 
Okay, guys, it is day 61, and I uh, just had a quick look through the building. There weren't any zombies at all so far today, um, but I uh, spent the night digging clay. Um, it wasn't exciting, but uh, it did give me a lot of uh, clay to stick in the forge, because you basically need that for a whole bunch of things that you uh, that you have to forge up. So I've got that in there cooking, cooking up or whatever it does when you stick it in there. <laughs> I don't know if it melts down or what it what happens to it, but uh, yeah, it's getting it's getting put in there. Um, so yeah, we've got a bunch of really good quality tools now, which is pretty sweet from uh, yesterday. I did um, buy a few cans um, this morning as well from the vending machine, so just gonna have a tasty breakfast of uh, cat chow, getting a real taste for this uh, deliciousness, and we have some tuna. Uh, which tastes almost the same, I imagine. Um, and uh, then uh, we're going to put the spare dukes in there. Uh, all right, so yeah, basically um, we are just uh, building back up our supplies of uh, tin cans. Because, yeah, tin cans do not grow on trees, guys. They have to be, uh, they have to be hoarded and gathered and treated with respect. Um, let's see, what do we got going on in here? Nothing. Yeah, we've got a lot of resources. I've got 20,000 clay in here already. That's crazy. 11,000 iron. That's, uh, that's pretty insane. I'm a bit low on lead, but uh, you don't really use lead for a lot of stuff. Um, particularly because I'm not making ammo at the moment due to my lack of uh, coal, unfortunately. But uh, pretty much every other resource, we're sitting pretty comfortably... Um, with the amount of uh, items we have right now, which is pretty nice. So yeah, so far survival's gone pretty good. As long as I don't get killed by uh, some random zombie, um, we should be okay. What I was thinking of doing today actually is making some of these concrete um, stairs up here in the cement mixer and... Um, because it's been a little bit quiet the last day or so, um, I thought I might actually spend some time repairing the stairs. Maybe iron stairs would be going a bit too crazy, but um, I do have a fair bit of concrete mix, so we could actually make some some concrete stairs up, because um, that's going to pretty much match the original stairs anyway. Because, yeah, basically... Uh, whole sections of the staircase uh, is missing or or ruined so I thought I thought it might be good to do some renovations here in Dishong Tower and just repair the staircase essentially I know it's gonna get probably uh, smashed up by zombies again um, at some point but uh, yeah we can uh, we can keep it looking good in the meantime I guess so I'll make maybe 20 of these um, I'm not sure how many how many missing um, sections of stairway there are, but uh, I guess this will get us started um, once that's cooked up there. Um, what else have we got here? I'll take the nail gun with me for repairing. Um, just waiting on these. Yeah, these take, take a fair old while to um, get produced. It's pretty weird. It's pretty weird how a cement mixer churns out perfectly molded concrete stairs, but I'm not going to question the logic because it's uh, it's obvi obviously um, a time saver, I guess. I'm not even sure. How would you make stairs in real life? I think they use like wooden molds or something, don't they? Um, yeah, not not a real concrete concrete aficionado in real life, unfortunately. But. Uh, See, oh, that one has has an actual rail on it. That's interesting. I think we'll just go with the regular stairs though for now, because I don't know. I don't know about the rails. Would it be would it be a good idea or a bad idea? Maybe you'd get, maybe you'd get stuck on the rails and trapped <laughs> if, you, if there were too many zombies um, chasing you. But uh, let's just check for zombies as we go down here. So, so far, this part of the stairway looks pretty good. No zombies in here. Can't hear any so far. 
Uh, yeah, it was pretty quiet when I ran through today, um, earlier, but, um, you never know when, when they're going to spawn in. Let's just have a quick look in here. I don't know how good the nail gun would be as a weapon. Okay, here's our first little section that will, that will repair. That there. Nice. Look at that. That is, that is beautiful. Um, okay. Then we've got this little section here. Um, you know what? I'm not going to completely repair the whole sections in some of these areas, particularly in the middle of the tower, because, um, as you guys will know, if you've watched, I think it was even the last episode and, um, on several occasions in the past, I've had to, um, quickly pick up a ramp to stop the zombies, um, killing me basically. <laughs> um, when they were chasing me up the stairs or down the stairs. So I might actually want to have that option still available if I leave, um, if I, every now and then if I leave, um, just one ramp frame so I can pick it up easily. Um, kind of want to replace that wooden block there as well. Some of these broken sections of concrete, I, I kind of want to get rid of those and replace them with, with um, full solid blocks, but uh, it, obviously it, it would take a while to um, to um, demolish those. <laughs> but maybe I'll come back at night and do that at some point if I feel like it. But for now, let's just get some basic concrete stairs happening. So I might leave that frame there as well. Um, have we got any zombies back here? It's pretty quiet, isn't it? It's really weird. Obviously my, um, land claim block is actually working at the moment. So, uh, I guess that's a good thing, but I do need more XP though, because the next few skill points are going to be pretty useful for me. Uh, what am I going to do here? This is, um, this is a really weird area right here. I'd like to get rid of, um, any zombies back here. I'd like to get rid of, um, some of that great. Let's just repair this little area here as well. Um, yeah, I'd like to get rid of some of that metal grate, but it's really, really durable and takes ages to, um, demolish. So again, maybe I'll do that when I have more time on my hands. Um, and uh, just to make it easier to get through that little section, just uh, upgrade this to concrete. Yeah, take care of Dishong Tower, and Dishong Tower will take care of you. Whoops, went a bit too far with that one. <laughs> I don't know if that's how it works exactly, but uh, it's treated me pretty well so far. I've got most of the resources that I've needed. Um, Obviously, as far as getting the gyrocopter parts, um, that's, that's a super slow, painful process. Um, but I think if we can survive long enough, it's, it's doable. I think it's doable. Um, we'll see how we go anyway. Like, I think it's literally only, um, I think it's like, uh, tomorrow if my calculations are correct that I can actually start looting again. Um, day 62. Um, we can, we can actually loot the lobby area, I think. So, uh, then we can start going through day by day, looting, looting through the building. It's going to be pretty awesome, actually. Oh, it sounds like we've got a, <laughs> sounds like we've got another supply drop out there somewhere. I'm not even going to bother checking where it is. Because they always fall like uh, a good 100, 200 meters away from the um, from the tower. Sadly, I wish it was a little bit more random where they fell. Like it'd be good if there was a chance for them to fall on the tower. That would be um, that would be pretty awesome. Um, let's repair this here. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, we definitely want to replace these ramps right here. Um, in fact, I can probably replace the whole section here because this is low enough 
to the ground floor where I probably won't get stuck if zombies are chasing me too much. So we should be able to put concrete stairs in this whole section here. Let's just put that there. I'm very pleased with myself so far that I haven't put the stairs in the wrong way around by accident. Because it would be kind of annoying to have to break one of these. Even though they're wet concrete right now. Um, let's just uh, pick these up. Maybe, maybe eventually I'll put two sets of stairs in some of these sections. Just to, uh, you know, just for that touch, touch of luxury. <laughs> it's going to be a dream walking up and down these stairs now. It's going to be, it's going to be like the Rolls Royce experience of staircases. Uh oh. It's just, okay. <laughs> I saw you creeping up there. Yeah, she thought she could sneak up on me while I was doing my renovations. Stupid Arlene. Okay, look at that. That's looking pretty good right there. Except for the crack bit at the top. Um, let's see, let's just repair this here. Just as well, I brought a lot of concrete mix with me. So yeah, those, uh, those stairs were pretty much exactly the right amount for what I needed. That worked out really well, actually. Okay, let's just go around. I'm going to probably repair some of these cracked blocks and broken blocks um, around the lobby area here as well. Just make sure everything's tip-top shape. Let's see. Yeah, all of these perimeter walls. Let's mainly repair the... Most damaged ones first. Alright guys, I've finished repairing most of the lobby area. The ground floor anyway. There were quite a few broken blocks in the toilet area and stuff like that. That I repaired, but um, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good now. I don't know how long it's going to last. Um, oh, here we go. We've got more zombies now. In fact, I think these are the first zombies I've, I've come across all day. Except for... Um, Except for Marlene, back uh, back in the stairwell, which is pretty crazy how quiet quiet it's been. Um, did we have any more zombies today? I don't think we did. That's crazy. It's like it's nearly five p.m. Very strange. Let's just check the rest of the floor here. See if we got any more. Through here, do we have any zombies? I haven't had to deal with any ferals for a while. I'm probably going to regret saying that. Did I see a vulture out there? Oh, there's a vulture out there. Hmm. Let's just see if there's any actual zombies through here first. I might actually see if we can take that vulture out just because it's been so quiet today. I've got to feel productive, you know. I've, I've got to feel like I'm making... Oh, here we go. Oh boy, okay. Ferals. Two ferals in a row. <laughs> I love that half-hearted swing. He didn't even get up. He just had a half-hearted attempt to uh, slap me from uh, from the carpet there. Um, Alright, anyway. There's, there's almost never any zombies in here. But uh, yeah. Okay, just a handful on this floor apparently. I want to go out and find that vulture now. It's flapping around out there like it owns the place. We need to uh, we need to show it who's boss. Let's check the toilet. Don't think there's any in there. Um, yeah, I think this uh, floor is pretty clear now. So cool. Let's repair this. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing how many of these blocks are um, being smashed by zombies. None in here. 
Yeah, at some point I do want to uh, break at least half of that grate there to uh, make it easier to get down that little section. Have we got any in Mole's gym today? Let's have a look. Nope, pretty quiet, I would say. It's like, it's like a ghost, a ghost building right now. Instead of a zombie building. Don't think we've got any here either. Qzo is deserted. Uh, where was that vulture at? I saw it flying around out. Oh, there it is down there. There it is. Can we hit it? It's it's pretty long distance. We might be able to uh, get a lucky shot on it. Sometimes um, you can get their attention and they'll start attacking you, but this guy's like patrolling his area down there. Just got to study the pattern, the flight pattern, and work out. I don't know if there's... There must be a pattern to it, right? It's not going to be random. Nothing computer generated is ever truly random. Um, okay. Looks like he might be attacking me now in the uh, roundabout way of the vulture. Oh, he's going back that way. Now where's he going? He's going around. Doing a bit of the old circle. Sometimes they go up and down, just trying to get the right height so that they can swoop in on you, but, um... What that vulture's doing down there? Even if I kill it, I'm not going to be able to uh, get the feathers, but, uh... This is how bored I am right now. <laughs> there's, like, there's no zombie action today. So I'm taking it out on this... Well, I'm trying to take it out on this vulture down here. Has it gone around the corner now? Maybe if I uh, make some noise, it's, we can attract it up here. <laughs> uh, oh, it's right there. Oh, I felt like that was close. Pretty sure if I hit it, it would probably one-shot it. Come up here, come get me. Actually, I think with vultures, they have a special mechanic. Um, if you if you're injured, they attack you. But if you're not injured, uh, they theoretically shouldn't attack you. Um, I believe that's how they work. Their AI. Um, yeah, so maybe that's why he's not particularly interested in me right now because I'm full health for once. For once in my uh, Dishong Tower career. I'm not low on health. Um, I think we could go down though to the... Um, I think we can actually go down to the third floor offices and there should be a ledge we can go out on down there that we might get a closer closer vantage point on the uh, on that guy. Let's have a look here. Maybe... Maybe we could go out on the gantry here. Actually, I think I'm thinking of of the uh, the other floor. This one, I don't think this one has a gantry. <laughs> I should know Dishong Tower by now. Uh, yeah, this one down here, I think, is the one we want. We need to get down here in this conference room. This is the spot right here. Um, okay, there it is. All right. Yeah, we should be able to get it to attack us over here. Come over here, Vulture. Here it comes. What is it doing? <laughs> Wow, what the hell was that? Its head got stuck in the, uh... In the, uh, bulletproof glass, and then it is, its body just stretched out the neck like... 
spaghetti. Interesting. Well, that that was worth it. I think that <laughs> that was totally worth that was totally worth the wait to see that strangeness. Um, that that was my entertainment for the day, guys. You don't if you don't have TV, you don't have Netflix. In the zombie apocalypse, you gotta make your own entertainment. That right there, that was the uh, the zombie vulture entertainment hour. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, that was that was probably the uh, the weirdest looking physics I've seen for a while in this game. Okay, well guys, we are going to head back up through the building and enjoy our beautifully crafted uh, stairs. Let's just make sure there's no zombies in here. It's, it's it's very weird how few zombies there have been today. Am I missing something? Uh, is it is it like... Is there some sort of jamboree down the street that they're all going to? Like, what's going on? It's very weird. Wouldn't it be strange, right, if uh, if you're in the zombie apocalypse and you're stuck in a building like this, just trying to survive day to day? You're here for here for like two months, surviving, no end in sight, and uh, without realizing it, like three weeks ago, someone found a cure to uh, the zombie. The zombie plague and uh and everyone is going about their day as usual and you you still think there's a zombie apocalypse going on in the in the tower that you've that you're hiding in <laughs> and every, everyone outside is just going about their day to day because it's over and uh no one no one told slippery he's your man out what was that movie? Wasn't there a movie where, uh, or maybe it was even um, a real, yeah, I think it was a real life story where there was a guy, I can't remember what country it was, but he thought that, um, yeah, it was a Japanese soldier. He was on some island somewhere and the natives, the natives couldn't get him to come out of hiding. Oh, there's another vulture up here stuck in the ceiling. Let's take this one out. Um... Day of the Vultures today. But yeah, this Japanese soldier was like uh, hiding out in an island. Um, he thought World War II was still going on like 20 years after it had finished. And even when his original like commander went out there 20 years later to tell him it was actually over and he could surrender or like, you know, just go home, he didn't believe them. It was pretty crazy. All right, guys, it is early morning, day 62. <laughs> And I uh, spent the night doing a bit of mining down here with my awesome purple pickaxe. You can see I uh, pretty, much, pretty much used up half the uh, durability on this thing. That's how hard I've been going overnight here. Still have not found any coal, just to keep you guys updated on that. So, yeah, but anyway, we got uh, more than two full stacks of iron ore, which was amazing. And uh, some other stuff as well. Sounds like we have some zombies today, which is going to be a little bit different from <laughs> the very quiet last couple of days we've had, actually. Where are they? Oh, over there? Huh? Looks like a wandering horde, maybe. Uh, I actually have some skill points to spend, so I'm going to buy Stay Down here, and I also wanted Skull Crusher. That is going to uh, drastically increase my damage potential with the old fiery barbed wire club. And uh, let's go take care of some zombies. Oh, hello. Oh, dip. Hello. <laughs> these, uh, these guys, uh, these guys are like got some tracking skills. They, um, they beat everyone else up here. Big mama. Mo. At least, uh, at least we don't, so far we don't, I'm not going to say it, uh, you know what I'm about to say, I'm not going to say it, because last time I said, I said, uh, it, we had a bunch of ferals attacking me out of nowhere, uh, oh, we got, uh, we got the very, uh, rare radiation suit zombie, nice, beautiful. Easy XP right here. 
So anyway, guys, as far as the plan for today, uh, technically, I think we could start looting again um, today. We could start looting this this lobby right here. But I've actually changed my mind and decided to postpone it by one more day. Um, just because, if I remember correctly, I think I was actually looting um, the lobby in the late afternoon. And I don't want to mess it up and um, have to wait another 30 days. <laughs> so, just to be on the safe side, I am going to wait until day 63, and then we know for sure we can loot, um, loot, uh, loot through the lobby and probably, probably the first floor, um, first thing, so yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, I really want to get the next level of this at some point, 100% more damage, it's gonna be so good. It's going to be so good, but I think I have to level up my strength uh, even further to actually have the ability to unlock those those final levels. Let's just, uh, let's just deal with this zombie. Come on in. <laughs> I feel like shooting him, but uh, I've only got 10 bullets at the moment, so... <laughs> Uh, it, su it sucks to be uh, low on ammunition in a zombie apocalypse. Anyway, let's go up through the building and we're going to check the floors for zombies. Have we got any more construction workers today? Let's just have a look. Looks like it's uh, vacant. Let's check the next level here. Most of the floors have been empty so far this morning, but um, I do find the afternoon is generally when you get more zombies. Oh, here we got uh, we got some more vultures. Headshot! <laughs> Sneak damage headshot on a vulture. It did not know what hit it about this one. Can we do the same thing? I might have got that one in the neck. Not 100% sure. Oh god, there's the third one. Always look for the extra vulture before you start harvesting. That's uh, probably probably the wise course of action. They really get confused by the ceiling in this place. Stupid zombies. Zombie birds. Imagine, they're already bird brain and then they turn into zombies, so I don't think they would have uh, too much in terms of IQ. They can't even fly straight, so, you know, see if there's any zombies through here. I have got the, uh, you have something coming on status right now. I really hope I don't get infected. It's, um... Probably just a matter of time until I do get infected again, and I don't have any um, antibiotics. Actually, you know what? <sighs> I've never actually checked if I can craft antibiotics, because I have pretty much all of the crafting stations right now, don't I? Um, it's probably just a matter of skills. Let's see. Let's see what I need to make um, antibiotics. Self-medicated. Healing factor. What would I need? Probably, probably somewhere on a physician, miracle worker. You can bandages. You can craft. Doesn't doesn't seem to mention antibiotics here anywhere. All medical healing. You can craft recog. It doesn't actually say. What I need to make antibiotics. Maybe I already have it unlocked. I guess we'd uh, we'd better check that because um, it's going to be pretty much uh, challenge over if I get infected at this point. It's just by these um, peas. It's weird how peas are cheap when I don't know. You'd think they'd be the same price as chili and stuff like that. I 
don't think there's any zombies up here either. Tickles medical. <laughs> Maybe we can attract some if we if we make some noise. Pretty sure there's no zombies up here though. None downstairs. Alright. Cleared the building before 9 a.m. pretty much today. That's um that's some good work. Man, I'm really looking forward to coming through looting all these areas again in the next few days. Alright, level 13. Last floor before we get back up to the rooftop. Let's just check the vending machine here. Uh, what have we got? Tuna. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Zombie free. Good stuff. What would you do if I walked out on the rooftop and there was a whole ton of radiated zombies hanging out at my base again? That would be kind of annoying. Spend all day getting rid of them. I think we are good though. Looks like the crops might be ready to harvest as well. Okay, let's just get our cowboy hat on. And, uh, let's see. Guess I'll eat this stuff. Got quite a few cans today, which is good. Some days there's hardly any of those cheap cans, but uh, I am running out of jukes. However, if we get lucky, we might get some more jukes from looting the next uh, few days. It's usually how it works. And I should get um, a bunch more ammo as well, because I'm running super low on ammo. Particularly stuff like shotgun. Um, cartridges. I really want to get more of those, if possible. Let's just put our resources in here as well. And look how much iron I've got now. It's just crazy. Got a good supply of uh, concrete mix there as well. And uh, four, four specks of gunpowder. <laughs> Oh boy, this is, a, it's really, it's a really different playthrough when you're doing this challenge, because usually in seven days to die, seven days to die, by, by day 62, you would have so much ammo, so many, so many guns, it, it would just be crazy, but, uh, we're struggling for ammo pretty much constantly here. Uh, kind of makes for a different playthrough. I, I quite like the uh, the challenge, actually. Let's see if we can make antibiotics. Um, nitrate powder, moldy bread, and bottled murky water. That's actually... Um, that's actually not too bad. I should have all of those things. Oh, well, I've got one moldy bread. Um, so I can make... I don't know if I have the skills to make it, though. I guess we can um, we can try it out. Um, nitrate. I think I've got enough nitrate. Um, oh, sweet. That's crazy. I didn't realize I could actually make my own antibiotics. So I have to make sure I keep uh, any moldy bread that I find going forwards. Can we actually make moldy bread? We can if we have 10... Ten sham sandwiches? How many of these? I've got nine. I have been keeping these. So I'm glad I did. Um, let's see here. Grab, grab my precious antibiotic pill out of there. Let's have a look here. Can I make... Can you make sham sandwiches? Old sham. Doesn't look like there's a recipe. It doesn't look like there's a recipe to make sham sandwiches. So these must just be a found item. I mean, there's cans of sham. You'd think I could just whack that in some bread and make some, some sham sandwiches, leave them out overnight. Get that nice green moldy texture. Apparently not. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm feeling a lot more confident now. 
Um, now that we have an antibiotic up our sleeve, I can get away with getting infected at least once. And, uh, and I do know how to make more if we need to. Um, I'm fully expecting to get at least one, most likely more than one sham sandwich if, uh, if we go through looting the building again. Ah, <sighs> can you tell I'm pumped to be, uh, to be just about ready to loot again? It's, <laughs> it's gonna really break things up here. Um, I think we can probably chop our trees down today. Let's just check, um, what stage they're at here. Oh, 900, okay. Not quite. I thought they did look a little bit on the skinny side. So probably have to wait another day on those, but, uh, 100% I can, um, harvest all our crops here. Alright, lots of vegetables and berries and things to put in our storage crate here. Um, I've got like three stacks of vegetable stew right now, so we are looking very, very good for food. Um, quite a few steel arrows going as well. Yeah, things are looking pretty comfortable as far as our supplies right now. We've come a long, long way from the days when I just about starved to death. The first couple of weeks. Okay, anyway. Um, I guess it's uh, time to uh, go down and see if there have been any, any more zombie respawns. Um, generally, what I find often happens is I'll, I'll go through in the morning and there'll be hardly any zombies. And then I'll come back in the afternoon and there'll be at least half the building with zombies. Um, with zombies, um, infesting the floors. Let's see if we can find any through here. Still pretty quiet, but usually they're in the floors furthest away, if that makes sense. The beautiful stairway here. Seems pretty quiet there as well. Let's just have a double check. Because this... This level here does tend to have a lot of zombies most of the time, but no vultures out here right now. This pool area doesn't usually have zombies in it, but the change rooms definitely do a lot of the time. Not today, right now, anyway. Let's see if we've got any construction workers spawned in here. Pretty quiet there. Well, we're more than halfway, uh, halfway down the building already. No zombies again. I really want to get a few more skill points too. What do we got? What do we got on this level? Oh, yep. There we go. We've definitely got that guy around the corner gets me every time. <laughs> Every single time, I don't remember that he's standing right there, ready to slap me around the face. Man, I just looked at that other guy and he fell over dead. <laughs> Maybe he was on fire or something, I don't know. I don't know why he died like that, that was weird. Okay, let's just check the rest of the floor here. Oh, I've got this something, you feel something coming on status again. Wouldn't that be crazy if I got infected, like, just after making an antibiotic pill? It's a really, really low chance, though. I don't know exactly what the odds are of getting an infect infection after getting the, um, you have something coming on. But it, it'd be like 0.0 something something, you know? It, it's very, very low. But it is, uh, it is a chance. <laughs> I don't think we've got any more zombies here. It's just going to be that one room. And 
unless there's some back here. I think I did get some spawning back here. Not that long ago. So we'd better check back here. Usually I don't check back here because they didn't used to spawn back here until I moved the land claim block this latest time. But all is quiet. So I might as well check the toilet since I've come this far. Nope, nothing. All right, let's head back through. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, tomorrow, day 63, we will be going back through starting looting again. It's going to be pretty amazing to get some loot happening. And then we've got, um, we've got the Horde Knight coming up as well. I think the Horde Knight is on, um, I think it might even be tomorrow, actually, if my calculations are correct. So... <laughs> Um, I should be pretty well prepared for that. Oh, hello, Steve. Long time no see. Oh, there's a few Steves down here. I think I saw a uh, football zombie over there as well. Um, okay. Oh, he's a, he's a feral. It's pretty funny how they made the way they walk, like, um, basically a simulation of, of a rugby, uh, not rugby, American football uh, tackle charge. <laughs> it's pretty funny how they did that. I like it a lot. It's it's actually one of the cool features of the zombies in this game that they they all pretty much have different um styles of movement. Different ambulatory motion. Okay, pretty quiet through here. That might be just about it. We've checked the whole building. Just make sure there's no sleepers down here. So yeah, I think we're pretty well set up for the next Horde Night though, because I've pretty much repaired everything. Um, we've got a bunch of Molotovs ready to go. I, I am low on ammo, but I can't do anything about that. So um, I don't think it's going to be a major problem though, because uh, we were pretty much using arrows most of the time in the last Horde Night. It's just dealing with the cops is the hard thing. If you don't have ammo, because you've got to kill them quickly before they explode and stuff, and like uh, vomit everywhere and destroy stuff. That's the most important thing. And it's hard to take them out quickly with arrows, even steel arrows. But I think I've got a handful of ammunition left. Hopefully we get lucky and don't have too many cops. But we'll have to wait and see. I'd way prefer even dogs and spiders over cops. Cops are just, they just do so much damage. And it looks like it's pretty, uh, pretty free of zombies up here as well. Nice. So yeah, been very quiet the last few days in here. But uh, hopefully that's going to change with the Horde Knight and we get, uh, we get a bunch of XP happening. Because we're getting to the point now where some really powerful skills are, are going to be ready to be unlocked. Like the final tier of a lot of the skills. Okay, let's head back up here. Still quiet there. Oh, sounds like we've got a zombie. Where is he though? Might be maybe downstairs on the next level down. Let's take a quick look down here. Sounds like they're smashing on a wall in the corridor through here. Let's just go through here. There you are. Another footballer zombie. Oh, he smacked me. Take that. That knockdown, that knockdown perk is so awesome. Um, is he all by himself? Alright guys, that is pretty much uh, where we're going to wrap up this episode for today. 
late afternoon still, but uh, I'm probably not going to be doing too much um, as we head into the evening. Um, maybe craft some more food up and stuff like that and just get things organized, ready for um, for tomorrow. But uh, yeah, that's where we'll leave it for today. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series of the Dishong Tower Challenge. And uh, let's get on our hot weather gear here. Might even grab some, uh, grab myself a nice cool drink of uh, this stuff, yucca juice. <laughs> But yeah, that's where we'll leave it for today. I hope you guys are enjoying this series, as I said, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I think it's going to be a big one, day 63. See you then. Thanks for watching.